G'day guys, thanks for stopping by to the Real Australian Dream Tour Diaries. Our names are Hayden and Amber, and we're on a mission to raise $50,000 for critically ill kids by playing music in caravan parks and campgrounds. We're going to be taking you behind the scenes of our lives on the road, as well as showing you around this amazing joint called Australia. Hope you enjoy this episode. Alright, welcome back to another episode of the Real Australian Dream Tour Diaries. When we left you last time, we were leaving um, the what police paddocks campground, and we are now off to a camping spot just outside of a little town called uh, Chuka, which is home to uh, a heap of stuff, paddle steamers, and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to show you around at Chuka. We're going to show you around another free camp on the beautiful Murray River, and we're going to give you the lead up into our Robin Vale shows at the Robin Vale Caravan Park on the 9th and 10th of april which is well and truly passed by the time you're watching this but this episode we're leading up to two gigs to start off the school holidays and hopefully they're going to be two crackers um given that it should be busy um given it's school holidays so murray river camping at its finest uh loving it so far we're going to show you a couple more spots along the murray and uh amber you're going to have a crack at the uh camp fire cook up. The camp oven. The camp yes. oven, yeah. So that's going to be good. She makes it at home when we're living in normal world, normal house. She made the most amazing chicken, what was it? Chicken soup. Chicken soup. It's a chicken soup. And so hopefully we can replicate that. And we've got a bit of corrugations here. Well, hopefully we can replicate that on the camp oven, camp fire, because there's just something that tastes, tastes different, doesn't it? It's so good. Fire. So yeah, so anyway, we're going to get so on the road. Um, Murray River so far has been good. The wind today, thank goodness, has dropped. In the last episode, you would have heard me talk about it, but it was blowing a gale. Holy hell. Um, so it's going to be hecka. good. To, holy hecka. So it's going to be good to have, hopefully, a bit of clean um, a bit of clean driving time because I was getting blown, blown away from breakfast to dinner time all over the road yesterday. Uh, I mean, fuel economy was absolutely shit Say a prayer, we can else. catch a fish. And yes, guys. we're going to hopefully catch a fish. It, the river, because of the rain in the area of later or in the catchments upstream, the river is flowing really, really fast. So unfortunately, um, yeah, the, the, there's a lot of debris in the water. Yesterday I was pulling up bloody kilos of bloody tumbleweed because uh, there's just a heap of, heap of stuff in the in the river uh, from the winds and the um, Better and drink the rain. This quick, so it's kind of warm. All right, perfect. Anyway, that's my cue to get off the screen. Enjoy the episode. We'll see you when we're pulling up at a campground. We don't know which one yet, but near a Chuka somewhere. We'll see you when we get there. Yeah. All right, g'day guys. We've packed up just like that. Packed up, unpacked, just like that. And boy, do we have a spot to show you. Another free camp. Another absolute rip snorter. Check this out. What a beauty. What a beauty. Let me turn this camera around for you. Life is good. Murray River. Nice big cliff top. Fireplace is gonna be just here. And what a what a what an afternoon ahead of us. Amber's gonna cook that famous chicken soup I was talking about. So I'm off to get the uh, the old chainsaw out, go find a few dead trees. Hopefully they've already fallen down, or well, definitely that have already fallen down. Get a bit of firewood together and uh, get the fire going. It's quite chilly, a little bit nippy. So get the fire going. There's a heap of paddle steamers and houseboats and jet, uh, not jet skis, what are they? Water, water skiers that come past here as well. So. It'll make for a uh, make for a good afternoon of entertainment. Hey, darling, what do you reckon? What do you what do you reckon of this spot? Love it so much. Hey, darling, what do you think? Yeah, it's, hey. it's cool. Like there's there's river activity. There's people skiing. Yeah. There's houseboats cruising up and down. Um, yeah, it's like a, an amazing view. There's a big drop off. Mm. Um, can't wait to go adventuring. Mm. And more importantly, how's the chicken soup? How are you feeling about it? Yeah, it's good. Got all the ingredients? Uh, yeah, I think so. Except firewood. Except the fire. Yeah, <laughs> go and stop mucking around and go and make the fire for me. Yeah, yeah all you. right. Hey, she's, um, she's eating bananas and strawberries oh. with a bit of um, 
with uh, a bit of Greek yogurt and um, here, Baba. Yeah. I just Whoa. when we were at the caravan park because we had power, I just hooked up our NutriBullet and um, I just pureed it and I and I have just frozen. I mean, That's... this is all new to me, so this is the first time I've done this. But it, she loves it. I just defrosted it in like warm water and. Um, you know, you just squirt it out. You get these from Baby Bunting, but you can use anything. Like, I'm using old um, zip-up bags that you use to store your, your breast milk in. Like, oh, you yeah. use anything. You use anything. So. And you like it, Baba? She loves it. It's, you love your nanas? Yeah, taste it. It tastes, it's banana, strawberry, and Greek yogurt. Only a little bit of Greek yogurt, though. Mm. You eat better than Dad. You eat better than dad. You get better meals prepared for you than dad does. Oh, righto then. Should we go get some firewood? Should we sit by the fire? Alright, firewood mission done. We have fire. Oh, check that out. You little... What do you reckon? I haven't got your opinion on this place yet. Um, Give us a rundown. It's nice. It's right on the river. Unfortunately, a big drop off here, though. Mm. It's not. But at least now we've got an excuse not to catch a fish. Well, I think I'll call down that lure. If we <laughs> stay here for a few days, I'll climb down. I've got to go and get that lure, too. <laughs> yeah, a little lure down there stuck in. I'm, I'm calling it. I'm calling it the lure that survived the biggest battle between fish and man ever. <laughs> and well, it's got to replace the lure that I lost. Yeah, we, I mean we are. We're still down about five to one. It's the universe. But there was a little lure down there that I spotted in amongst the trees that has been lost by a uh, angler before us. As any angler knows, you must pay tribute to another man's lure by always, <laughs> always, retrieving it. always retrieving it when. When possible. There is, you will need a Nepalese Sherpa to get down the hill, but. No, you gotta abseil. You gotta abseil, yeah. But uh, maybe we find a track, build a ladder. I'll work it out. And we'll, we'll catch ourselves a Murray Cod. I'm nearly booted up I'm enough. Excited. I'm here to see a cod. Oh, hang on, you've, you've popped up from the background. Oh, now she's full of bloody. Back. Now she's full of bloody vigor. Hey? Uh, big words coming from the water. Oh. <laughs> big words. Nice fire, you're welcome. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Get the yeah. fire gets going and she's out. There. She's out there. No one can hear. You, 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 your response is being muffled by the fact you're facing the wrong direction. done the dishes, she's fed the baby, and she's delivered an all-time classic in relation to the campfire cook-ups. You bloody ripper, look at this. Camp up and gets another beautiful workout. Chicken thighs, heaps of veggies. What is it, darling? Chicken thighs, vegetables, curry powder, coconut milk. Yep. Give, give us a rundown, what else is in there? Um, just vegetables. Um, heaps of different herbs like paprika, uh, mixed herbs, um, what was the other one, like that all seasoning shit. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, what else? You can put anything in yeah, there. Yeah, it's a bit like my you one. Know. Hey, you just go for it. Whatever's in your cupboard. Yeah. Mm. Yep, She's a bloody beauty anyway. I tell you, that's a nice one. Another bit of chicken. Oh, I don't chick. Baba's done a really weird poo. Really weird poo. Well, we she did try a Zuba Duba no, for the first it's, time. It's really weird. Like it's it's um. Hang on, we've got a poo report. It's like I've never seen before. It's well, really Who wants weird. to see a poo? Yeah, the poo Nobody wants nah, to okay. see... Nah, okay, we won't show a poo. <laughs> Nobody wants to see the poo, okay? All right. Wait, you... seriously, can you come and look at this? Oh, hang on. It well, looks you'll like curry see... paste. You'll see the face expression of mine. When it's... Whoa, whoa. That's like a proper... Oh, she did start solids. That's the first proper little poo. Don't smell it. Oh, my God, you got it on your nose. That's... All right, she went a bit too close in the old snipperini, oh, and a real weird poo, Are you okay? anyway, all right, there's a poo report. Here, quick, we'll go over to Rowan, get a quick taste. Oh. Want salt and pepper? Big pepper, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I prepared earlier. <laughs> this one's brought to you by Mackenzie's whole black pepper corns. <laughs> When you're looking to spice up your dish. <laughs> Giving your uh, chuck steak a bit of a run. Oh. You bloody beauty, eh? Look at this. Morning. Oh. Uh, this is my vest. Bought it from Rivers. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so we're on a hunt out hunt for the, the best spot on the Murray River today. We're off early. We only got we've got six days to get only three. What do we only get to get 300 kilometers up the road? So we're going to probably do about 200 k's today thereabouts, um, and get uh, get on the doorstep of uh, of Robin Vale, which is where our next shows are, and sit there for five or six days and totally chill out, zen out, and just relax. Do a bit of fishing and uh, and all that sort of stuff. So uh, we'll take on the trip today. This spot, what's it? Christine's Beach. I gave you a bit of a rundown yesterday. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, I guess there's probably going to be better spots in the weekend. But it's so st st steep, isn't it, to the water? But hey, free camp nonetheless. Can't complain. Is what it is. Uh, and we stayed, sticked around here for a couple of days and went into a Chuka, which is a brilliant little town anyway. So anyway, we'll touch base with you when we found the, the Murray River's best free camp spot. And we'll show you all about there as well. All right, cheers. See you soon. Hey, we are in Swan Hill, and look. Uh, no. <laughs> got him. Got him. Yeah. Car coming. Car coming. The. <laughs> oh, he's giving me the go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we're ripping it up, boys. Oh my god. We fill up our water. We are on our way, and the dirty bird himself, Mr. Colonel Sanders, produced his pheromones into the atmosphere and just enticed us in. Yeah. What? KFC is like two blocks away. This one it. walks all the way there to get us KFC. Do you, see me good... Do you see me eating any? This is your Coke. Nah, I might have scoffed it down earlier, you reckon? Anyway, we are um, we're on, we're, on, we're going to the Devil's Elbow. The Devil's Elbow. It's a campground. Uh, recent reports suggest that there were Murray Cod caught on the banks of the Devil's Elbow. Anyway, we're gonna go see if it lives up to the hype. Hey, Baba, good morning. She's such a good traveler. She's been asleep. We left two or three hours ago. Stopped a couple of times. She's just woken up. Yeah. We've got about, what, 20 minutes? Yep, 27 minutes. 27 minutes to this camp spot. Hopefully it's good. We'll set up camp there for four or five days. If it's not, there's a couple around nearby. I think that's a good tip for you guys as well. We use wiki camps to find our spots, but we always like to have a backup, don't we? Yeah. So that way, if you get there, you know, doesn't live up to what you expected or it's not, it's full or whatever. There's a variety of reasons that a campground can be no good. Um, good spots are taken or for us, we like to be a bit secluded, don't we? We like our space with the dogs, let them off, yep. let them roam around and they're the old caravan and signal. G'day, mate. Um, we, like to have a, we like to have a few options. So we're going to hit this one first. It's our first pick, and then work our way through. We've got a couple of other options if this isn't going to um, going to do it.
Hey guys, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Well, who's this little pork chop? <laughs> He's trying to eat the chair. Oh, you eating that chair? Oh, get that chair, darling. What the? What the? A tiny thing. Anyway, we are in this spot near the Devil's Armpit, Devil's Elbow, whatever it's called. Devil's Elbow. Devil's Elbow. And mate, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. We got the lines in. We've got a few bites already. This is the this is the beautiful Mo River. Perfect little uh, little descent down. And I'm gonna go find myself a Murray cod for sure. Oh man, yeah, hay fever. This is what I'm gonna have a crack at. Apparently, this guy, this bad boy, she's the bee's knees when it comes to catching these buggers. I feel a bit lethargic. I'm not gonna lie. I had a lot of dirty bird. The Colonel, the 11 herbs got me again. End up that full. I was vomiting just up the road here because I was just, bruh, man. Every time the dirty bird gets me, every time. You think I can learn my lesson though? Never learns a lesson. We'll continue to go back. Anyway, this is the devil's armpit. <laughs> devil's elbow. <laughs> it's in my mind now, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna put, it, put the drain up, have a bit of a look around and uh, go for a fish. Hopefully, catch dinner. Yippee dippee 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 doo da da. These are a pest, so unfortunately, this guy's gonna die. I'm gonna kill him, remove him from the water so he doesn't get away. But it's good fun to catch him anyway. Who knows why they introduced them? They're a bit muddy after that, but oh well, it's fun anyway. It's good fun. Go, darling. Here she goes. What are you, gonna, what are you calling, darling? <laughs> you know. I caught a time. Wanna let him go? You're right to do it? cod on the uh on today's fishing expedition but we haven't given up there's definitely a bit of we got one murray cod and we got a murray cod i got a humongous carp that unfortunately i lost on the riverbank actually illegal to keep them illegal to let them go um so a bit bummed out i couldn't get rid of him from the uh from the system but anyway here's what it is so we uh are left to resort to some uh some beef for dinner tonight but we're gonna light this bad, bad boy up Sit around the fire, have a few beers, and uh, enjoy this bloody spot.
Hey guys, hey, um, what an eventful morning. We bloody were packing up, ready to go, and then, uh, and then our little, our dog Rue got hit by a car, um, and it just scared the shit out of her, and she went smashing, running into the bush at a million miles an hour. So we spent the last hour or so looking for her, um, and yeah, bloody hell, mate, it's pretty scary right now because we can't find her, and it's just, it's just really f***ing, um, Amber's in the bush, we've been in the bush. If this, if we can't find it, Amber's heart will break into a million pieces. It's, yeah, it's pretty shit house right now, I tell you. I just wanted to tell you guys about an incident that happened this morning. We almost lost our Ruzi Q. Um, very, very scary sort of stuff. Oh, hang on, call you back. What's happening? Hey, darling. I was just telling everybody about what happened this. Well, I haven't even started, but um, I was just telling them that we almost lost our Ruzi Q. Yeah, that's crazy, eh? Well, it went like this pretty much. It went. We were packing up, the car was hitched up, ready to go, and then, um, long story short, this little Toyota Corolla, probably 1980s or something, like an old school one, I know, and it was real low to the ground, and it's on a dirt road and all that, and then, um, yeah, just bloody Rue stood right in front of it, because I've been getting her in trouble for, for running out my cars, I started yelling at her, and then... I'm going to have to take your phone. Yeah started yelling at her and then she stopped halfway through but it just so happened to stop right in front of the um in front of the car so she got hit and she barreled underneath it she didn't get run over by the tire itself but just got barreled underneath it and then just bolted a million miles an hour like i've never seen her, her run that fast at all so she just absolutely bolted extremely quickly and i was trying to run after her and yeah it's probably yeah pretty crazy like yeah it's pretty pretty stressful and then um yeah, we spent probably a good hour, hour and a half looking. And yeah, long story short, we found her after an hour or so of searching, or probably a bit longer. Um, and she was looked like she was on her way back to camp. I'm glad we got the dog back. We're pretty exhausted, to be honest. Um, so we haven't shown you where Robin Vale. We haven't shown you the camp, sorry, anything like that. Um, but we'll get up tomorrow morning and we'll feel a bit better and um, and uh, and get back and show you guys what we're doing. Alright, g'day legends, we are in, um, forgotten that mind blank, Robinvale, Robinvale Caravan Park, um, it was a bit slack on the old filming of the footage uh, last night, but we've done a gig here last night, uh, beautiful spot right on the Murray River, um, I'll put it, uh, put the link or the wiki camps thing here somewhere so you guys can see it, pretty good spot by the river, eh, uh, Robinvale, um, not much of it, not much to do here, not much to, in terms of the town size itself, but the caravan park is beautiful. You can swim in the river, ski, water skiing, tubing, all that sort of stuff. So we did, did a gig last night. Fortunately, unfortunately, there was a bit of rain about, which scared a few people off, but we still raised just over $300, which is bloody good. And we've got another one here tonight again, and hopefully we can do the same and take that total for the weekend up over 500 That's the plan. Anyway, we'll put a bit of footage of the show in after this, because I'm going to go set up now. And uh, we'll see you guys after the show. See ya, bye. We are on our way. We've left Robinvale Caravan Park today flies are out and uh, yeah really good uh, really really good caravan park good spot right on the river 
uh, pretty cheap um, too, considering um, some of the other ones we uh, we've stayed at. It was I think it's about thirty five bucks a night, power and water. So pretty good value. So good stuff. Um, myself last night didn't show you guys that but I tried to cook a bit of salmon spat oil up and now I've got oil burns all over my arm so that's another little uh, tail for the last couple of days but the gigs went well we raised another $930 or $950 thereabouts um, which is really really exciting today we're off to South Australia uh, we're gonna go find a free camp on um, in SA uh, our first time you've ever been to South Australia Haddon have you no, I've never been. I've never been and Freya hasn't been. So we're all, Amber's 30, I'm 27, and Bubba's six months old, and here we are all for the first time going to South Australia. So an experience uh, nonetheless, and it sort of earmarks the next chapter of our journey as we sort of get away from water, Murray, river, ocean, and start our desert leg in the next couple of weeks. So. Between now and then, this weekend over the Easter holidays, because it's Easter this weekend, so it's about the 11th of April or thereabouts. We, um, well, I've got two shows in Morgan. Amber's flying out, so I'm going to be batching um, in Morgan, and uh, Bubba and Amber are off to Atherton Table ends up in Far North Queensland for uh, a week or so to see your family. So it's, um, yeah, no, it's exciting. We're going to uh, really get into it this week. Hopefully, we've got a tinny also. That's been lent to us by the owner of the Morgan um, Riverside Caravan Park. So I'm hoping I can pop me pop me Murray cod cherry and uh, catch a bit of a feed um, whilst uh, whilst we're there. But thanks for watching this episode. We're going to be hitting up South Australia next and full of adventure again as we uh, as we start the next leg of our trip. So cheers. We'll see you next week and have a good one. Bye.